Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hassan and Anissa are going to the masjid today. A masjid is a special place to pray. Anissa is very excited. She's never been there before. Daddy drives to the masjid. Look, Anissa, there it is. That's the masjid, says Hassan, Anissa's older brother. Anissa leans close to the window to have a look. Wow, it's mag magni magnificent, Mommy says. Daddy parks the car and Hassan and Anissa jump out. The masjid is huge, says Anissa, and look at all those big windows. I like the minaret, Hassan says, pointing to the tall tower. <laughs> Do you guys go to the masjid? Yeah. You better say that, we're at the masjid now. Mommy, Daddy, and Hassan and Anissa are in the masjid now, kind of like you guys. We will see you when the prayer has finished, Daddy says to Anissa. He holds Hassan's hand and walks away. Where are Daddy and Hassan going, Anissa says. Well, in a masjid, boys and girls don't sit together, Mommy replies. Come on, Anissa, let's make wudu before we pray. Anissa and mommy go to the girls' wudu room. There are women and little girls sitting on low seats. They are washing their hands, face, and feet with water. Now it's time for Anissa to make wudu. Mommy helps her. Anissa turns on the tap and splashes the water everywhere. You shouldn't waste water, mama explains. Look, you've soaked my clothes. Mama makes wudu after Anissa. Have you guys been to the masjid bathroom? Have you seen that space where they make wudu? You have? Have you guys sat on the chair and made wudu on it? No, not yet. Well, maybe after we're done here, you guys can go to the bathroom because both bathrooms here have the chairs you can sit down and you put the water. But when we put the water, how should we put the water? Carefully, why? it might spill. And we know as Muslims that we should never waste water, right? That's a good thing to remember. Anissa and mommy walk to the girls' prayer room. Anissa takes your shoes off and put them on the shoe rack, mommy says. Anissa spots a perfect place for her little pink shiny shoes. Anissa can finally go into the prayer hall. She pushes the doors open and tiptoes inside. Let's find a place to sit, Mama says. I don't see any shoes. Where did you guys put your shoes? You put them outside? Good. So you guys did like Anissa did. You put your shoes on the rack before you came inside. Did you put them on the rack? Oh, no. You didn't put them on the rack? Huh? You put them on the rack? That's a good thing, inshallah. You put them on the rack too? Oh, that's very good. Sometimes when we're hurrying, we forget, but it's always good to put our shoes on the rack. Why do you think it's good to put our shoes on the rack? But why? Why do you think? Because maybe it's hard for people to get through if there's a lot of shoes. That's a good one. So the floor doesn't get dirty? That's a very good one. You might trip on them. Good, that's the answer I was looking for. Did you have another one? Oh, yeah, your mom and baba might get upset. That's true. But we don't want to hurt anyone. And if, pe if there's a lot of shoes and people are hurrying, what's gonna happen? Oh, they could trip. So it's always good to put our shoes on the rack. And thank you for raising your hand. That was great. Mommy and Anissa sit down in the middle of the girls' prayer room. This carpet feels really soft and smooth. My hand could even sink into it, Anissa says. 
Yes, you're right, Anissa. The carpet is very soft, says Mama. I like all the flowers on it as well, Anissa says. Anissa sees small windows. She peers through them. Hassan, Hassan, Anissa shouts. Mama, I can see Hassan. Shh, Anissa, you should speak quietly in a masjid because you might disturb someone if you are shouting. Okay, sorry, Mama, Anissa whispers. We shouldn't. Hassan hears Anissa call him, and he turns around and waves to her. Look, says Hassan, there's Ali. Ali is Hassan's school friend. Hassan runs towards Ali, but a man puts out an arm to stop him. Then Daddy explains to Hassan that he must not walk in front of people when they are praying. Hassan walks behind the man sensibly and meets Ali. Did you guys know that? Did you know if someone's praying, we shouldn't walk in front of them? Yeah. Oh, good. MashaAllah. See? Yes. So if we notice someone's praying, that doesn't mean we don't have to walk by. We just have to walk behind them. So it's okay to walk around in the masjid when they're praying, but if we see someone praying, we should try not to walk in front of them. Inshallah. Hassan sits down. He sees a big curve in the wall. That's called a mihrab, daddy says. It shows us the qibla, which is the way we face when we pray. I'm going to pray in front of the mihrab, says Hassan. Only the imam stands there, uh, only the imam stands there, Hassan, daddy says, smiling. Near the mihrab, there is something with steps going up. Is that a stage? Hassan asks. No, it's called a mimbar. On Friday before the Jum'ah prayer, the imam stands at the top of the mimbar and gives a khutbah or a talk about Islam. Has anyone come to the masjid on Jum'ah? On Friday? MashaAllah! That's good. I like to see you guys here at the masjid on Jamaa. A man walks to the front of the hall and starts the adhan. His voice is big and loud. Who's that? Daddy asks Hassan. He's the mu'adhan. He calls people to pray, says Daddy. Everybody can hear the adhan in the masjid, including mommy and Anissa. It is time to pray. Anissa, stand next to me, says mommy. Okay, mama, Anissa says. I'm going to pray like a big girl. The imam starts the prayer. Allahu Akbar. He then recites the prayer in the loveliest way Anissa has ever heard. The prayer has finished and the room isn't quiet anymore. Some people are going and some people are staying. Mommy, are we going now? Anissa asks. Not yet. I just want to pray a bit more, says Mommy. It's time to find Daddy and Hassan. Look, Mommy, there's Hassan and Daddy's met his friend, Anissa says. She runs up to Hassan and gives him a hug. Looks like they're excited to be reunited. On the way out of the masjid, Hassan sees a box on a table. People are putting money into the box. What's that, Mama, he asks. It's a sadaqa box, he says. Money we, put, um, money we put inside is given to people who might be hungry, scared, or alone, says Mama. Can I put some money into the box? Hassan asks Daddy. Of course you can, Daddy says. Afterwards, it's time to go home. Hassan and Anissa had a wonderful day at the masjid.